Good morning. It is also the 27th of December here, and I have my corkscrew willow. Um, this is a beautiful tree. I've actually never found it for sale anywhere. Um, I think I actually saw it online once. It was like $50 or something for just a tiny little plant the size of this one. <laughs> so, and, and these get about 20 feet tall is what I've seen in Niagara and the Lake. So we went out to a wine festival this year and I said, okay, well, my partner loves them. And I said, I want to make them happy. So I'm going to get a, a clipping off the tree. I asked the people who own the winery and they said, of course. Um, took this little tiny branch here. Willow, whether it's the, a bush or a tree or anything, it roots really well. And you can actually keep this water and help root other things with it. So you can save yourself on some rooting compound. If you have a willow tree near you, cut off a branch, stick it in some water for a while. Make sure the water doesn't dry out though, but um, use rainwater too. That's the trick. Don't use tap water because it has chlorinated water. I mean, it's chlorine. Basically, you're not helping your plants in any way. It'll still work, but anyways, mind you, back to the point. So I took this clipping and it's been quite a few months now, but the root system is so strong on this and it's starting to droop so I said okay here's what's gonna happen you can really literally only leave uh, branches and clippings and rootings and everything in water for so long before it stops getting nutrients so I've got my pot I put in half a piece of tape, paper towel um, well ripped in half and then ripped in another half um, well, I use the, the mini sheets here, so, you know, it's like rip a size type, whatever. <laughs> what do I know about that stuff? Anyway, <laughs> um, so I rip it in half, put it in the bottom there, and just start scooping in soil. So, scooping in the soil. La -da 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 -da. And this stuff's really, really rich. It's got um, perlite, promiculite, just compost inside it. This soil is fantastic and this tree is going to love it. So here's what I'll do. I'll just kind of leave this like this. Um, I'm going to try to get it to stand up straight here which means I'm going to end up having to use both of my hands it looks like. Um, which means filming may not be an option here. I'll, I'll try. I want to have you guys included but yeah. Anyways um, I think that's about as good as I'm going to get it here, right? There we go. So, I don't necessarily want this tree to grow straight up anyways. So, we, what I'll do is I'll just keep potting it around, putting in some more uh, potting soil, and fill that on up. Remember never to pack down your soil tightly. Tap it down. Um, and then just water it um, very lightly too. You don't want to wash the soil right out of it. If you tap it down, what happens to the new roots is that they actually have a problem growing because they find it hard to push to the soil. And when you're a baby roots, you know, it's like any kind of baby. You just have to be very delicate with it and patient and just think of it as a baby, right? Anyways, there we go. That's what we do. Um, we've got a clipping. It'll grow. Happy spring coming. All right, guys. Enjoy your plants.